Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to join two pieces of three-strand rope. We do that with a short splice. Um, okay, so I've got uh, two pieces prepared. I've put the tape on the end of uh, my piece so it doesn't um, open up. Okay, and I've measured back about four inches. And I've done it on both of them so that we can, um, we can open them up. Okay, once I've opened them, I've put the tape here to stop it opening up any further. Otherwise it just continues to go. So we open up all three. There, and all three. Okay. What we need to do now is we need to, we need to marry the two pieces together. Okay, okay. blue, green, red. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to try and get it so it goes with one strand from this rope and then one strand from this line. Okay, and then one strand from this side and then one strand from this side. So we end up pushing them together and I believe I need to put this one over here. Okay, so we have this one from this side, this one from this side. This one is from this side we need one from this side okay then one from this side okay so we are together Okay, one of the tricks to this is to make sure that this part of the line that we want to weave down doesn't untwist. Okay, so I'm just going to keep some pressure on there to stop it from untwisting. Okay, and I'll take my first um, tail from this side, and you can see it lies on top of that one. So I'm going to try and open it up and put it underneath there. Okay, simple over and under weave. Turn it over. Take my next tail, go over the one we just went under, and under the next one. Okay, then we take our next tail, go over the one we just went under, making sure we get underneath that one. Okay, then we've got our first full rotation, so we can just pull it all up nice and tight, all three pieces nice and tight. Okay, and don't forget to twist that one. And now we can simply do the next set of over under weaves. Over and under. We've just been over that one, so we go under that one, so we go over that one and under that one. The last one, we go over that one and under that one. Always making sure that you weave through this line, not one of the tails. Okay, so that would be our second set of rotations all done. So we just pull it all nice and tight. Again, with this, for the short splice with three stranded rope, we want to do five over under weave rotations okay so we've done two and now I can go again this one is lying on top of that one over there so I'm going to go over that one and under that one over that one and under that one over that one and under that one. Okay, so I've done my five full rotations on that side. And what I need to do now is go back and start working this way. So, okay, so I can take off the tape from that side. Okay, and now I have my three pieces, which is from this strand, sorry, this strand here, which needs to work into that line over there. 
Okay, so I can take off the piece of tape which is stopping it from coming undone. Again, I need to be a little bit concerned about not letting it unravel. Okay, so I have my three pieces here and I just need to do my over under weave. So if you don't hang down like that, you can see that that one wants to go over this one right here. This one wants to go over that one because it's kind of hanging on it. So I'm going to go over that one and then under that one. Okay, then I rotate and I go over the one I just went under and under the next one. Rotate, go over the one I just went under and under the next one. And there we have one rotation on that side. Okay, the one strand got struck, but I'm stuck, but I managed to pull it through, which kind of worked out quite nicely. Okay, so that was one rotation. Okay, I'm going to twist it around so that I'm working the same way again. Okay, keep them nice and tight. And as I say, I've done one rotation. So we need to do five on this side again as well. So we go over that one, under the next one. And then we rotate, go over that one and under that one. Rotate, go over that one and under that one. And we have two full rotations. So twist everything up nice and tight, give it a good tug. Okay, so I have done my five full rotations this way and five full rotations this way. So we have a short splice. We have joined the pieces together. Okay, if it is not quite uh, smooth, we can just roll it between our hands and to make it all smooth out like that. There we go. Okay, and now we just need to burn off the ends. So I'll grab my hot knife. And just burn there. Like a hot knife through butter. What you don't want to do is you don't want to make the tails too long and you don't want to make them too short. Take it on the other side. One. Two. have a short splice.